Oh my God, Maria, you have to get in on this. I just got another luxury bag from that brand we talked about the other day. I just posted it on my main, but did you get to see it by any chance? Hi, Jessica. It's been a while. I've been bedridden these days, and I haven't really gotten around to catching up with the social media and stuff like that. I've been feeling really out of it lately, honestly. I'm sorry about that. Oh, really now? Well, that's too bad. I'm so sorry to hear that. So what's wrong with you then, if you don't mind me asking, of course? It's really been a while, so... Well, it's nothing wrong, per se, but to tell you the truth, I actually got pregnant recently. What? Wait, for real? You're not kidding, are you? Isn't it kind of like way too early to be getting pregnant? I mean, it's such a waste from the way I see it. You only just got married, too. Well, you know what they say. Sometimes the stork just delivers early, I guess. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of looking forward to being a mom and all. But I mean, if you had gotten pregnant, you could have just told me sooner. I wouldn't have minded at all. Like, my husband's been hanging out at yours often, right? Wasn't that kind of, you know, in the way of things, if you get what I'm saying? Oh, no, it's really been no trouble at all, honestly. If anything, every time he comes over, he cooks dinner, so... I've actually been feeling a little guilty about being pampered like that and all, to be honest. Like, imagine still hanging out together as fully grown men, though. It's kind of funny in a way. Guys will always be guys through and through. <laughs> Too bad we both married some man-children. Well, I think it's rather sweet that they get along so well. I really do. I grew up without any siblings, so I'm honestly a little jealous. I wish I had that kind of bond. Ugh. It's because of you saying stuff like that that enables them even more, you know? Oh, are you, like, scared to speak up because my husband used to be your boss or something? Listen, if they're being a nuisance, you can just kick them out, okay? You don't have to put up with anything you're not comfortable with. No, that's not it. <laughs> it's not that at all. Your husband's always being so considerate, not to overstep it. And, again, he's been helping us out a lot, so we appreciate it. Well, if you say so. If you're absolutely sure it's okay, then I trust you. Thank you, too, for being so considerate as well, Jessica. I really mean it. But seriously, it's really no trouble, so don't worry about it, okay? All right, all right. I'll take your word for it then. <laughs> but you, a mom now, huh? I'm low-key disappointed, to be honest. I won't lie. I was like, I finally found myself another wife who just get it. But I'm all alone again. These days, everyone's just getting pregnant left and right. It's crazy. It's as if they're trying to open their own preschool or something. <laughs> oh, I see. I didn't know it was like that for you. But I mean, hey, once my morning sickness goes away, how about we grab some lunch together? Just the two of us. It'll be fun. Yeah, that's not really what I mean, if you catch my drift. It's like the whole vibe changes once people get kids, you know? You just can't relate to the same things anymore. Not like they used to be able to. Is that how it is? I never really thought about it like that. Yeah, like... You know how there's this wall between single girls and married ones? No one admits there is, but it's like totally there. It's kind of like that. There's also this wall with moms and wives too, in my experience. Wow, I never really paid attention to that, but I guess it makes sense in a way. Well, you are a little slow after all, but that's okay. It's cute though, don't worry. It's just, you know, I'm well off and... I mean, have you seen how bougie my posts are lately? Yeah, I've always thought you live such an active lifestyle. You seem to be doing something new all the time. So I get hated on by these trapped moms all the time. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, honestly. They say shit like, imagine having all that time, you know? They're so jealous. It's hilarious to scroll through it all sometimes. You have to see some too, I swear. It'll give you a good laugh. <laughs> right, I will, I promise. I'll make sure to take a look once I get better and am back on my feet. Oh, God. Are you going to be this boring once it's born as well? I sure as hell hope not. Well, I don't plan on changing even once I'm a mom. At least, that's the goal. But also, this is my first time going through this whole experience, so I can't really say either way. Oh, my God. You know what we should do once it's born? This is a great idea. We should do, like, a photo shoot and dress them up in brand clothes and luxury stuff. <laughs> it's going to drive those broke, jealous bitches crazy. <laughs> I can just imagine their faces. I think I'm going to uh, pass on that one, if that's okay with you. Also, we can't afford to buy luxury items, so it wouldn't really be feasible for us. 
What do you mean? I mean, you were in the same company as my husband when you were still single, so why can't you? Don't you have, like, some savings tucked away somewhere? And it's not like Lucas is working at some third-rate company, right? He has a decent job. I guess it's also that I want to start saving up for when my baby's born. That's a big priority for me. I don't really want to raise him poor, so I'm trying to be responsible. Oh, so it's not that you're broke. You're just stingy, huh? Is that what you're saying? I suppose so, yeah. That's one way to put it. I'm probably on the more conservative side with my spending. I, I like to be careful. This sucks. I thought you were like me, Maria. I really did. I mean, you always had some good quality stuff in you too, so I just assumed. Oh, I don't have that many, actually. Not as many as you might think. They're all just gifts I'd buy myself now and then when I was still single and had more disposable income. Wait, what? Those weren't, like, gifts from someone else? That's surprising. I always thought that Lucas had bought them for you or something. I guess I was wrong. Well, my husband's not really into luxury items, so he doesn't really buy them for me. Really? Wow. Thank God I married someone who's a little bit more understanding in that regard. You really gotta choose the man you marry carefully, huh? It makes a big difference. Better pick the ones that can satisfy all your needs. That's my advice. Well, I guess it's just like I tell my followers. To each their own. <laughs> Everyone's different. I suppose so. You're absolutely right about that. Anyways, let's go grab that lunch once you start to feel better. We'll have a great time, I promise. I'll take you somewhere you'd probably never manage to get into. <laughs> It'll be a treat! Wait, no, that's not really necessary at all. Somewhere normal's just fine with me, honestly. Oh, quit worrying about it. It's no big deal. I just wanted to take photos to post on my social medias, so it's kind of a win-win for both of us. All right, if you say so. If you insist, then I'm in. Well then, take care of yourself until then, okay? Get plenty of rest and feel better soon. I'm going to go enjoy myself a spa day now. <laughs> I need some pampering. Stop ignoring me. I know you can see all of this. Jessica, what the hell is going on here? Why are you doing this? Oh, so you're still alive? I was wondering about that. I mean, I thought you died or something when I heard that ambulance come for you the other day. How could you say such things? That's beyond insensitive of you after what you did to me. How's the baby doing? Did that thing manage to survive as well? It's fine, thank goodness, but anything more and it could have... <sighs> So that's still alive too, huh? Good for you, lucky bitch. Listen, I really don't understand. I'm so confused. I really am. Why'd you just beat me like that out of nowhere? It came completely out of the blue. I passed out. I could have even died right there on the spot. You could have killed me, Jessica. I mean, you really brought this on yourself, didn't you? You should have seen this coming, honestly. What the hell did I do that deserved all this? I have absolutely no idea what I did wrong. I know you're cheating with my husband. I have proof, Maria. I mean, I bet the dad of that baby's also my husband too, right? You can't deny it. You bitch. How could you do this to me? What the fuck is wrong with you grilling me like this after stealing someone else's man? It's unbelievable. I thought you were the one person I could trust. I can't believe I was so wrong about you. I can't believe you do this to me. I feel so betrayed, Maria. What? Cheating? What the hell are you talking about? I would never do that to you. The baby's dad is Lucas, not anyone else. Th there's no one else involved, I swear. Why on earth would you think your husband's involved? That's completely insane. Don't fucking play dumb with me. I saw my husband taking you to the gynecologist right during work hours in broad daylight. Huh? I mean, who would ever go that far for their young brother's wife? Um, that's just a misunderstanding. There is a perfectly reasonable explanation for all of this, I promise. I was on my way to the gynecologist, and I just happened to meet your husband who was coming back from meeting a client. And he just gave me a lift because it wasn't far. That's all there was to it, I swear. Do you really think I'd believe such an obvious lie? You're not fooling me, Maria. I'm telling you, it is pure coincidence. I swear on my life. If anything, that's all you went off on, believing I was with your husband? That's utterly ridiculous. I mean, in that case, there's something clearly wrong with you, Jessica. You're jumping to conclusions. 
Oh, don't you get me started. There's more to it than that. That's not all the evidence I have. I have more than that to back up my claims. I saw my husband buying a book on baby names with my own two eyes. Who the hell thinks to name their siblings baby? That's not normal at all. You'd only do that if the baby was actually yours. It's the only explanation that makes sense. That's because Lucas and I asked him to be the one to name the baby. We thought it would be special, a nice gesture. Lucas and I wouldn't have met if it weren't for your husband, so we wanted him to do the honors. It's a gesture of appreciation, really. It's thanks to him we even have a baby, so we wanted to include him in this special way. God, this is unbelievable. You're making this up as you go along. You're just full of excuses, aren't you, Maria? You're desperately trying to worm your way out of this. Excuses? I'm just telling you the truth. I'm not making any of this up, Jessica. You're being delusional and paranoid. You're seeing things that aren't there. Stop trying to gaslight me now. I know what's going on between the two of you. My husband started acting differently since you got pregnant. I noticed the change immediately. He got colder ever since then. It was like a switch flipped in his brain. What the? How is that my fault in any way? He started complaining to me more, and I knew that something had to be up. It just wasn't his normal behavior. I mean, seriously, the other day he took away my fucking credit card. Can you believe that? And what part of any of this has to do with me? I'm not involved in your marital problems in the slightest. When I looked into my husband's phone, you were the only other woman he chatted with frequently. I saw it with my own eyes. We were literally just making conversation. There was nothing inappropriate going on at all. Or he'd ask me if we needed anything before coming over to ours. It was just him being neighborly, that's all. Oh, I bet you're just talking in codes or something, aren't you? Trying to hide your affair from me. I know you're seeing each other. Stop trying to get out of this. I'm not stupid, Maria. Listen, Jessica, all of this, it's all in your imagination. It's not real. None of it is. Stop letting your victim mentality run wild. You're creating problems when there are none. Seriously, cut the bullshit. I'm tired of this. Are you telling me that I got beaten up over some silly little misunderstanding? That's not fair at all. I'm telling you that it's not a fucking misunderstanding. It's all true. Every single word. What you've done is a crime, Jessica. You assaulted me. You physically attacked me. You're only getting what you deserve for stealing another man, you bitch. You deserve to be punished. Let me guess. You were just jealous of me, weren't you? That has to be it. That's gotta be it. You wish you could have lived like I live. And you made a move on my husband, didn't you? You're fucking done for, Jessica. This is the end for you. No. You're the one that's done for, Maria. You'll see. I'm telling our parents everything. They need to know the truth about what you've done. God, if only you just stayed dead. That would have solved everything. I'm never going to forgive you for the rest of my life. You ruined my life, Maria. Don't bother, Jessica. Everyone's already right here at the hospital. They've heard it all. What? And everyone's been watching this entire conversation unfold. They know the truth now. Your mom and your husband are lost for words. They can't believe what they've witnessed. They're beyond disappointed in you. You should be ashamed of yourself. What the? Why are they disappointed in me? This is ridiculous. When you're the ones who are having an affair, you're the ones in the wrong. Because we weren't. God, we, we've done absolutely nothing. But hey, looks like you're getting a divorce out of this. That's for sure. What the fuck? What am I getting divorced for? I'm the victim here. Because not only did you send me, a pregnant woman, to the hospital, which is completely unforgivable, but you did it all over some stupid misunderstanding. It's beyond comprehension. All because you were insecure and couldn't control your own jealousy. So naturally, I am going to be pressing charges. You need to be held accountable for your actions. You better be prepared, Jessica. There will be consequences for your actions. Listen, Maria, I'm so sorry. I truly am. I did such a terrible thing to you, and I regret it so much. I can't believe I actually did that. I want the chance to apologize to you properly, please. I need to make things right between us. Can I come over anytime soon? I'll come whenever it's convenient for you. Yeah, I don't need your apology. It is too late for that now. Oh, and you'll never meet me or Lucas ever again, so don't even try. 
Even if you do come, don't expect anyone to answer the door. We won't be there. Um, listen, as you know, I understand if you're upset with me. This was all because of some misunderstanding, right? That's all it was. Yeah, of course, I fucking know. How could I forget? I mean, I'm the one who got beaten up for some cheating I never even did. It's etched in my memory forever. But please, hear me out. I have something important to say to you. It's also my husband's fault for acting in such a suspicious way. He definitely played a part in this too. Well, I, for one, don't think that he acted in any way suspicious at all. He was just being himself. But he started acting cold all of a sudden, and that was a major red flag for me. Well, it's only natural that I suspect he found someone else. I mean, it happens all the time, right? I mean, you were the only other person I knew about, so I put two and two together and well... You call me the only other person, but that's only because I was just talking to him, right? There was nothing more to it than that. Listen, he's Lucas's brother, okay? It's like, maybe an important connection to remember, no? If that isn't reason enough for him to come over to my place, I don't know what is. It is perfectly normal behavior for family. But like, see, I'm just really hot-headed, right? I have a bit of a temper, I'll admit. Once something gets in my head, it just becomes all I can think about, and so... I acted impulsively. I really did. You're not the one who got sent to the hospital over someone else's stupid misunderstanding. Remember that. Do you actually understand the severity of what it is you've done? It was a serious assault, Jessica. Of course I do. I know I messed up badly. I beat you when you were with child. I could have hurt your baby. I know that. I know that what I've done is the worst of the worst. I'll never forgive myself for it. Well, it's too late to start regretting what you've done. The damage is already done. We're far beyond apologies at this point. There is no going back now. Besides, you do know that your husband was being cold because of the way you acted, right? He had his reasons. Yeah, so I've heard. I guess I deserve that. Apparently, he also took away my credit card because of my out-of-control spending, which is completely understandable. But he turned a blind eye to it until now. He let it slide for so long. And then, all of a sudden, he gets angry about it? It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, it's not a stretch to imagine that something else is going on, no? It's suspicious behavior, if you ask me. He told me that he's been warning you all about your excessive spending habits. He only took action because you never actually listened to him. He had no other choice in the matter. Who else do you have to blame for your reckless spending but yourself? You need to take responsibility for your own actions. Well... I never really felt as though I was spending that much, and he works at a famous company, so I thought we were well off. I didn't see the problem with it. Even if he is working at some big shot company, it doesn't change the fact that he's just one man. He can't support unlimited spending, no matter how much he makes. I heard that you weren't always like this. You used to be more reasonable with your money. But that you started spending worse when you started social media. Is that true? Because after getting a baby, everyone just started acting differently. It was like they changed overnight. I mean, they stopped hanging out or drinking with me. It was beyond frustrating. And they just keep bragging about how wonderful it was to be a mother. It was constant. It got so annoying that I just wanted to live a life that I knew they couldn't. Even if they wanted to. I wanted to be different from them. You sound surprised, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out that having kids will change things. It's a major life event after all. I'm sorry. Just please. Please forgive me. I'm begging you, Maria. I'm sorry I caused you so much trouble, okay? I'll do absolutely anything to make it up to you. I'll stop overspending and I'll never lay a finger on you ever again, I promise. How stupid can you get? You really don't get it, do you? Do you think this is something you can just get past by simply apologizing? It's not that simple. I'm going to get divorced the way things are going right now. My marriage is over. And if you don't forgive me, my husband's actually going to leave me. I'll be all alone. You are getting exactly what you deserve. You brought this on yourself, Jessica. You spent your husband's hard-earned money on absolute trash, and then you have the nerve to accuse him of cheating on you? And as if it couldn't get any worse, you send me, a complete bystander, to the hospital with your violent outburst. Why would he not divorce you? Are, are you stupid? You need to wake up and see reality. Please, Maria. Please, I'm begging you. Have some compassion for me. I don't care if you're lying. Just please tell him you'll forgive me. I need him back in my life. Did you not hear a single word I've said? I'm not going to lie for you, Jessica. 
Why the hell do you think you have any right to demand anything at all? You've lost that right a long time ago. I won't ever forgive you, period. You crossed a line that you can't come back from. Oh, come on. This was all because of a misunderstanding, right? It wasn't intentional at all. To be divorced over something like that, it's just not right. That's just not fair. It's too harsh a punishment for what happened. And you're still going to be pressing charges too? You're really going to do that to me? You're damn right I'm going to be pressing charges. You assaulted me, Jessica. There are consequences for that kind of behavior. I'm really sorry. I truly apologize from the bottom of my heart. I'll do anything, anything at all, so please forgive me. I'm desperate, Maria. I swear, I'll never do anything like this ever again. I've learned my lesson. There won't be an again. We're done, Jessica. We'll never see each other for the rest of our lives. It's over. I really do regret everything I've done. I wish I could take it all back. I really do. I just... I just thought that you, alone, would keep treating me like you always have. I took you for granted, and I'm so sorry for that. So when I assumed you were cheating, I just lost it. I couldn't control myself. There's nothing I can nor want to do to help you, Jessica. You're on your own now. I'm blocking you on everything, too, so just give it up. It's over between us. Maria, I'm telling you that I'm sorry. I really am. Please believe me. Please, just don't leave me. I need you in my life. I always appreciated you for sticking around with me, even when all I did was boast about my life. I was really happy thinking I got a new sister. I truly cherished our friendship. You know, Jessica, you say that you thought everyone else was changing after having kids, but I actually don't think that's it at all. I see it differently. It was you who changed, not them. You let your jealousy and insecurity get the best of you. In the end, no one forgave Jessica, and she ended up getting divorced. It was inevitable, really. Apparently, her spending habits were in control when they had just gotten married, but that didn't last very long at all. She soon began bragging about her luxurious life, and sooner or later, she couldn't stop spending. It became an addiction for her. Sure, people change when they have kids. That's just a natural part of life. But bragging just so she could look down on others and insult their new lifestyle? That was completely unacceptable. That was all on her. She made those choices herself. As for pressing charges, we reached a settlement. It was the best option for everyone involved in the end. Firstly, so I can get a hefty settlement fee to help with the medical bills and the emotional distress I suffered. And secondly, so I can get a restraining order so that she can never come near me and my child. I need to protect my family from her. Jessica went back to her parents' place and is living the life of a shut-in now. She's isolated herself from the world. All her social media accounts were deleted, and there wasn't a trace of her former lifestyle to be found anywhere online. Apparently, she had to go into debt to pay the settlement fee, so she won't be bragging about her life anytime soon, that's for sure. As for my injuries, I had hit my head pretty hard, but now I've recovered fully, and I'm living happily with my baby. We're doing well. I think your relationships with your friends do change with your environment and age. That's just a natural part of life, I believe. But Jessica couldn't cope with the change, and people began to leave her first for it. She pushed them away, really. And besides, true friends are those who stick with you no matter how the environment changes. They're there through thick and thin, through all the ups and downs. Not to romanticize any of what happened, but I think I learned from this to be more attentive to the people around me, especially during challenging times. It's important to be understanding and supportive. It's about being present and recognizing that everyone goes through their own journeys, and we need to be there for each other, no matter what happens.